We're gonna take examples one through 10 and enhance the harmony by adding the nine. Now the nine is the octave of the two. This isn't very hard because you have your scale diagrams in front of you, we just covered these. Take the chord, and the first thing we're gonna do is say any place where there's a flat three, what do you do? Go down a half step and you'll have the two. So you simply pick up your second finger. Let's put this to work. What if I played example three? Or what if I played example seven? You're starting to hear all the different colors that you can get going on. And then if you played something like example eight. And you're getting little moving melodies in your rhythm guitar part. That's one place that we could add the two or the nine. We, any, and this is a rule. Anytime you got a flat three, two is right below it. Where, where else would a two come from? If we raise the root a whole step. Now, this is a little bit more of a stretch, so. Let's just learn this chord. Here's your D minor. Raise the root on the third string, up a whole step. Or. Now, what I'm doing there, I'm looking at example nine. I'm going kind of quickly on this. So you don't have to have the nine in all the way through the measure. You can play around going from one to two, one to two, all those different things, right? And you see what I did there? I move it down here. Either way, works out well. That's adding the nine. Now, I encourage you to take some examples, the ones that you really liked and the ones that you twisted and turned into your own, and put this nine in place of the flat three or in place of the root. You might be saying, well, what about down here? Why don't I? Let's not go down low. Why not? You're getting down into sonic territory where you get the bass and the lower voicings of the chords, and it can get murky. So be careful how you use that nine. We happen to just be in one area of the fingerboard. Later on, you're going to learn other areas of the neck, so you'd have these nines available in different octaves and you have more options that way. But for now, you really only have a couple of places that you can put that nine in. We've covered them. Now it's up to you to practice your rhythm guitar parts and then play along with the track.